In this video, we'll talk about some of the specific activities that we engage in as UX designers. In your career as a UX designer or researcher, you might find yourself doing a few or all of these things. One of the most important roles a UX professional plays is in helping stakeholders understand how to balance user goals with the goals of the business. To this end, we spend a large chunk of our time working directly with stakeholders, brainstorming, aligning on shared goals, and defining the goals of a specific design or research project from both the business and user perspectives. This work generally starts as a workshop involving many sticky notes and markers. Once the workshop is over, we synthesize the results of that workshop into a PowerPoint presentation, inter-office memo, or bug tracker tickets, depending on the needs of the team. Interviews are another important activity and one of the best tools in our UX arsenal. An interview can be conducted in person and paired with co-design activities like the image on the left. Interviews can also be conducted remotely using video conferencing software. The key to learning from interviews is effective and organized note-taking. An effective notes grid, such as the one on the right, which allows you to record all user responses to a given question, can help greatly in analyzing findings. Recording interview sessions also helps you focus on the interview itself, while having the data to return to later. It also helps in creating highlight clips for stakeholders. Surveys can allow you to quickly get data from a broad group of users. For best results, include both quantitative questions in your survey, such as rating scales, and tightly focused qualitative questions that allow you to dig in deeper into the behavior you're trying to understand. Surveys can be conducted along with usability tests and interviews. They can also serve as a recruitment screener to qualify potential study participants. Finally, you can also use surveys to directly track user experience metrics. A standardized questionnaire, such as the SuperQ, available at superq.com, can be delivered to your website's users as an intercept once their visit is complete, and can provide important insight into how users feel about your website over time. An expert review, or heuristic review, is a comprehensive overview of key task flows and screens of your application or website. The review is done by anywhere from one to five usability experts, and issues are generally assessed against a series of basic usability principles and rated using a severity scale. An expert review is an important component of the overall UX process and provides a quick means of evaluating the usability of a system. It's also a good precursor to planning usability tests. By doing a comprehensive review of the current experience, you can figure out which areas of the experience may need to be validated further through testing and identify potential showstoppers prior to unleashing the system on the real world. Usability testing is one of the best ways to understand how real people use your website. You can do longer usability testing sessions in person or remotely using screen sharing software. You can also use unmoderated services like usertesting.com to capture video and watch users complete basic tasks. The key to successful usability testing is both in creating effective scenarios and in defining the right kind of testing for what you want to learn. Focusing on the research goals early in the test planning process will help you decide both what tool to use and what to ask users to do during the test. Card sorting is the simple act of asking people to organize a group of items described on cards or sticky notes into meaningful categories. Card sorting can be done in person as part of a brainstorming activity, or it can be done remotely using online card sorting software. Card sorting is a great exercise to help stakeholders get aligned on priorities, and it's an essential tool in the early phases of designing information architecture. One of the key things that UX designers do is take all of the information that they gather from watching users interact with the product and use them to provide actionable design and development recommendations for their teams. This may include more formal deliverables, such as test reports, prototypes, or expert reviews. It may also involve doing mock-ups or screenshots and adding them to bug tracker tickets. 